Hi folks, I'm just wanting to show you a couple of um, options you won't often need in the hack um, but are useful to know about, particularly when you're new to the game and wanting to not die all the time or only see the first few levels of the dungeon so that you've actually got a chance to get to know the game a bit. Um, the main one of those, or the most useful one of those generally speaking, is Explore Mode. Um, Explore mode can be set using launch options. If you go to your Steam library and right click on Vulture, choose properties from the menu, under the general tab is launch op set launch options. And from a previous version of this video, I have a command already there. I'm going to remove it and put in minus X. Minus X for explore mode. Um, this is basically what you would have done in 1990 or whatever on a Unix machine wanting to play on a server Setting as you typed in NetHack you'd type minus X at the end of it so the program would execute that switch you can do similar things on the PC these days with shortcuts and so on as well of course now when I hit play a vulture for NetHack I'll escape from the music um, and I just type in any old name Martin Explorer 2 and this is the second attempt of this video I'm going to say I will pick my own character and go with my standard that I'm wanting to play with Sylvan Wizard I don't like Dark Corridors if I can't see at least some of the monsters coming down and I have an inventory and so on um, and you can see up the top here, I am in non-scoring discovery mode. So that my score when I die won't be saved on anyone's scoreboard because I've had the added advantage of being able to not die at my own choice. And also, because I started in explore mode rather than switching to explore mode during a, an existing game, I start with a wand of wishing. Makes things a lot nicer. So I can wish for a couple of items, like, um, well, I won't go into detail because even showing an inventory really is a bit of a spoiler and net hack for new players. Anyway, I'm going to save. And that save file is stored on my hard drive and then synced to the net hack cloud. Um, you can find your local files by right-clicking properties and go into local files and click on browse what I wanted to do this time is so show that if I set the launch options again and remove that I now don't have any launch options I hit play again and I hit escape on the music Martin Explorer 2 now this time, again, I've come in in, not in non-scoring discovery mode, even without the switch. So that's because it's sa that condition is saved with the, inside the save file. So it knows that it's a, an explore mode file. So once you've got one, you can keep it for however long you want to and play with it just to explore the dungeon if that's the way you want to, without having to set the option between regular games and your explore mode game. I also get asked if I want to save, keep the save file. So was this sort of like a, a normal ga or a normal game, a modern game's um, save point or come back to point? You know, I've I've managed to save. You know, I'm in a good position. I've saved it here. If I die or get into a horrible position, I can come back to here and start again. This is, allows that, which isn't normally the case in NetHack. Normally in NetHack, loading a save file. Once you load a save file, it's deleted from your hard drive and into the Steam Cloud. And attempting to keep your save file under normal game conditions when you're not in a non-scoring mode is called save scumming. It should only ever be done in an attempt to save files from a crash rather than to get around dying. But anyway. I'm going to quit this game at the moment because I don't really want to save it. Really quit? Yes. Quit.
the other mode which you saw while this was sinking the other mode that you saw I had there before was a minus D for debug mode and minus U for the username wizard because this is also called wizard mode um, wizard mode's most useful for just repeat minus D capital D minus U lowercase wizard um, wizard mode is, or debug mode more correctly, is mainly used for testing a particular scenario or when developing the game, testing that your code does what you think it should do or when developing a patch for the game or an add-on or whatever you want to call it. Um, it allows lots of extra um, commands on the first version of this I took way too long trying to find where they were listed and so on so this time a list of wizard mode commands under the help menu list of wizard mode commands Oops. Um, and here we go we've got detect secret doors and traps find map out the entire dungeon level create monsters around you uh, identify items in your pack you may want to do something other than create monsters. You might want to cr um, use the wish to make something else that then causes the uh, monsters to appear or something. It depends on how you want to go about things. Um, make wish in this case is um, an expanded version of the game wish, the normal game wish. Um, this wish allows you to create things like altars and sinks and those sorts of things uh, which you couldn't normally do uh, normally you can only wish for an item that you put in inventory or that will be put in inventory in fact uh, all sorts of other things you can um, teleport to other levels uh, find out where all the special levels are so you can then level teleport to them or to the branch point for them and so on various other things that are probably only of interest if you're trying to um, set up something particular about the game De doing some coding somewhere along the line but anyway so that's wizard mode you again get the option not to die um, there's an option in wizard mode normally to be able to save a bones file if you die um, to my understanding that won't be allowed on Steam because you don't want regular players finding bones that were left from people using wizard mode have, could have anything in them everything you need to win the game which would be cheating that I'm going to quit yes quit. Um, and that's basically again oh one thing again um, once you've got that mode set up and a game saved in it, you don't need to keep the launch options. It's tied to the game. It's saved, the save file. You can just go back to having a plain, ordinary old launch. And um, that's about all I want to say at this point. As you can hear, I've got other things going on. Um, happy hacking.